my dear viewers and subscribers. Today I have a very unique engine for you. So here we have a Magnum 120S very rare engine which was developed and built in England approximately in the 1986. I was bought this engine from Australia from one very nice man as far as I understand a former engine collector. It takes a lot of time for delivery due to pandemic restrictions and greatly reduced air flight traffic. This magnificent engine is in front of you and I am going to dismantle it partially to explore its internals and constructions. Also I would like to share with you a short story of Magnum engines, as at least what I was able to find. I must say that, the, uh, that very little is known about them. So let's start to dismantle it. Quite interesting piston construction. It totalizes twin piston rings. The original Magnum engines were manufactured in small workshop in Archway Road, Lutton, Bedfordshire by Peter Roffer and Brian Stammers. They were developed and produced some very interesting engines, single cylinder four stroke engine called Magnum 91S, as well very rare Magnum 182V twin engine, which utilized two 91S cylinder assemblies an absolutely rare three-cylinder radio Magnum 273 four-stroke engine with 91S cylinder assemblies. Most known Magnum 91S was shown at the Nuremberg Toy Fair in 1988. 
it was enough heavy engine and not as powerful as any of competition. So these engines were mostly seen on large vintage models in England. Interesting fact too, by swapping the valve push rods, it could even run backwards, so clockwise. Towards with the, to the end of the 1980s, Peter and Brian decide to split due to some financial problems, and to Peter Rofer began working with a custom enclosures company. A year or so later, Peter Rofer was went to work with Irving. Custom enclosure company was kept a lot of spares, prototypes, and half finishing farts. Later, this. Uh, were assembled in so-called classic collection. Having enough stock of parts and Craig Kensis for 91S model, there was decided to produce bore-out version called 120S, utilizing 91S crankcase and some other parts. Exactly this model we are exploring and reviewing right now. Engine utilizing old classic loud, similar to Enya 44C and OS FS60, with separate crankcase nose, with rear a driving camshaft and open rockers. Such design is not modern, of course, but it much more suitable for repair or rebuild purposes. So, my dear viewers and subscribers, thank you for watching this video. Hope you will find some interesting information for you. And we will continue on the next uh, video, in the part 2, we'll try to run this engine on the bench. So, thank you for watching, have a nice day, stay safe. Thank you, bye!